This is a bunch of little crystals of olivine, all grown together into a rock. I'm not going to tell you the rock name because I don't want to confuse you. Uh, so we're just going to call this sample olivine. Uh, if you go Google olivine, please go Google olivine. See if you can find pictures of it in meteorites. Uh, there are some really famous meteorites that are metallic and also have these crystals of green olivine in them. Uh, olivine, as the name suggests, kind of has an olive color to it. Uh, if I weather this, if I kind of set this outside for, you know, 100 years or so, uh, it will turn to a much kind of lighter uh, yellow color, um, but st still definitely greenish. Uh, I'd like to show this, even though it's not my favorite sort of sample for olivine, because I'd love something that's got single crystals. I love showing this uh, because it, it's a very important mineral. It's a uh, it's an iron silicate. Uh, you find it a lot in lavas, in mafic lavas. You find it a lot in asteroids. Uh, I, I used to live in Hawaii, and if you got to Hawaii, you can go to some of the beaches, and you can actually see the aloha. You can see the uh, the green sand in the beaches, and there's one in particular on the south so on, south side of the Hawaiian island, the Big Island, uh, which is mostly olivine. It's got a greenish color to it. I, I'm pretty sure I talk about it in one of my igneous rock lectures, uh, so I'll let, just let you go watch that. But uh, the gemstone name of this is peridot. Uh, which I believe is the gemstone for August, or the birthstone for August. So if you're born in August, here's your gemstone. And if you go to that beach, this isn't the exact beach. This is a, some beach sand that's got some olivine in it. Uh, but if you go to that particular beach, uh, that in particular beach, Papaloke, I think it's called, um, you're literally walking around on gemstone sand, which is kind of neat. But, uh, so yeah, that's, that's olivine.